Welcome back to Looptopia, where we're building our own utopian homestead. So we've had a few months to figure things out a little bit. And, you know, we, we got out here and it was kind of an emergency just to get a place up so we could stay overnight in a tent. But now that we've had time, we're going to rearrange some stuff. I'm going to give you a few tips in case you guys are starting on no budget and you're like, hey, I'm just going to get to my property and throw some tents down. I'm going to give you some stuff that I wish I had thought of first round and I'll take you through how we're doing it. Stick with us. This is kind of taken apart, but basically what we have is a 10 by 20. And I've got the ABC canopies because they're ridiculously strong if you're going to buy them. Look how thick the, uh, the shafts are here. It's really quite sturdy. Um, and that's where we sleep. And this is just like an Ozark tent that has an insert. And I'm not crazy about this as the cheap Walmart tent. So we are going to upgrade for the winter to a wall tent. But we need to make some room here. So we're going to rearrange. And what I had to do was level this area. So even though it doesn't look like it, that's like 15 loads of dirt that I had to move 100 yards. And um, that took a long time. That took me almost an all, all day to level it out. But it's a little higher, so the it'll be easier to walk through here and we'll be able to put an outdoor kitchen here. So we're gonna spin this tent. But before we do that, I'm gonna use this fabric here. This is the same stuff you always see at greenhouses on the ground. We're gonna put this down because it supposedly has a five year life, probably three in the south, but you'll notice that they damaged it in shipping. It's all frayed. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that and deal with this. And uh, we're going to lay this down first and then stake the tent over it so we don't have to deal with weeds and it'll take some of the bugs out too. It's just a much better, if you're gonna be living in a tent long-term solution, you don't have to get close to the tent and weed whack it and accidentally rip the tent. It's just a, a really good weed barrier. So we're gonna set that up first. So the tarp's laid out and what I want you to see is this. Um, there's a lot of frayed ends, which will wear out because I want this thing to last five years. So I'm gonna use this hack where we're gonna use like a cream brulee torch, these kitchen torches and some butane. We actually keep this around to light the rocket stove when it's cold and wet and we don't want to screw with matches. So uh, I'm going to cut it with that and what it'll do is it'll melt it so it'll, it won't fray. All right, so we start the butane up and it works pretty fast. You just cut right through. And we're doing this on a really wet day so it doesn't light the grass. That's it, you'll see how it cuts the edge so good. Perfect. You see these are fabric staples. We're gonna use these things. Sorry about all the cars today. It's very traffic-y. Um, and I'm just gonna use rubber mallets to pop them in. So we're really sick of weeds. So we went kind of overkill and put three feet border on each side. So this takes basically three of these six foot. We used uh, six foot ones. They come in six foot, four foot, two foot. And uh, use a six foot. So you can see where they overlap, these two little lines. And basically, you put a few in place to hold the first one, and then when you put the overlapping one over, you really hammer it down so you don't trip on it constantly. Because we're gonna be walking on this all the time, but we are going to throw like uh, rugs over it, like this kind of rug, the uh, outdoor patio rugs, these things. We're gonna throw a large rug or two, and that'll keep from tripping over the seams in the that sort of stuff. So here's a very basic setup like I was talking about with the... Uh, these are like... I don't know how to describe them. They're like made of plastic and they would go outside. They're outside and they drain easy. So this is a good way to protect the plastic barrier. And they're pretty... Like this one was $10 at Job Lots. They're probably like 20 now, but... I don't know. Who knows? Anyway. That's what we're going to suggest so you don't step on the staples that are sticking out. That's what we're talking about. All right, so we're attaching a tent to a tent. Let me give you a little advice from vending. It is sturdier if you bungee them together. So that's kind of a no-brainer. But you see I have the hooks. I have the... I don't like the ratcheting tie-downs. These are called... Uh, uh, some of the C. I I forgot what they're called. But they're, they're like ratcheting tie-downs. But you pull them instead. Sort of like come alongs, but no, they're called something else. Anyway, I'll, I'll link them in the description so you can see what the heck they are. 
this goes to a dog screw. And this is why we survived the hurricane. These tents did not get shredded because you just poke a little hole through that. It doesn't tear it up. And then you strap it with this and pull it tight. And you do it for each tent. That will save your tent from getting torn to shreds. The only thing that can happen is if the top is really old and sun damaged, it will eventually just rip. But if the tent's relatively new, you'll be shocked how strong these are. Okay, so here's it set up. I'm gonna give you a few more tips. I already told you about the dog ties and everything. And if you're attaching to two tents, you can use two ropes to the same tie and save a little money. Um, also, it helps to strap the legs together. If you have an old tent that droops, you can use these noodles and it keeps the rain from pulling up and destroying your tent. Um, the tents that I have here, the ABC, don't need them, but I kind of just out of old habit put them there. So thanks for joining me for this simple project. It did take quite a while actually to line it up even and right. And I'm gonna give you a little advice. Check the legs and use the yellow lines to make sure the legs line up pretty close. <laughs> uh, we did not do that and I didn't realize how crooked we were until it was done. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much for everything and staying with us. I will keep putting stuff up as this develops, but this is kind of the base layer for a weed proof tent and living area. We're gonna turn this into kind of where we sit in our outdoor kitchen, um, a basic kitchen. Like we're not gonna be putting a, you know, something that heats up that would melt the plastic or anything. You know, we're just using like rice cookers and that kind of thing. Um, we'll have a different design for a full-blown kitchen later. But we are sick of weeds, and I should have done this a long ago. But now that we're going to put the wall tent in, it was an opportunity to tear everything out and reset it. Lastly, don't forget that most of our good stuff is not on YouTube. YouTube sucks, and uh, we're shadow banned there. So you won't get notifications most likely. Uh, it's just awful. Get off YouTube. So you'll find links that are for Odyssey and Brighteon. That's mainly where I publish all our uncensored stuff. So if you want to follow us there, it's greatly appreciated. Also, you'll see Amazon links for the things I've talked about, what I could find in here in the description below. It does help us if you go through those links and buy them. It's kind of the only way we make money anymore. So if you're going to go Amazon shopping, go through the link first. Uh, don't go to Amazon shop and then come back through the link. It doesn't work. You have to go through the portal link shop and you have to buy it within you know like 24 hours or it doesn't count for us so if you just leave it in your cart for days and days it doesn't count all right so help us out with the amazon link i'd appreciate it cost you nothing just a, a click thank you so much love you guys take care of each other one last thing lorelei pointed out is she didn't know that uh you don't actually have to buy the stuff i'm posting on amazon if you go through the link and then you go shop for your dog food or whatever it still counts for us so just enter through that portal anytime you shop on Amazon. It helps the channel out. It doesn't matter if you're buying the products or not. Thanks.